Hey everyone, Sharkner here. Welcome to another video. On today's video, I'm bringing you my first two wars on three of my clans in different champs levels. So I'm bringing the frozen witch attack, which I use on most of my attacks, and I've gotten quite a few triples. I've had a champs one, a champs two, and a champs three clan. In champs one, we've got the main resistance team, where we're facing no legs. We also have savage skull and uh, also qsfn is in this group our first war against no legs we ended up winning it 41 40 and in the first war i ended up coming in with the triple with the frozen witch attack so i'm go was going against bezes so i'm using the zap to um, get rid of the scatter and the defenses on that two o'clock compartment area which is also going to be helping me with my funneling putting the couple of giants which is at three and also at 12 just to funnel a little bit more my troops then I put the rest of my giants, the log launcher and my witches followed by the heroes going straight into the tesla farm but that doesn't matter I want them to go all the way in from the one o'clock area directly into the temple and since I've already uh, funneled that area with my lightning spells there's nowhere else for my troops to go but directly into the temple log launcher is just opening more of the walls they also get rid of the inferno that was along the way and it allows all of my troops to just keep walking down now some of my troops do end up going a little bit to the right but i do have the king going towards the town hall so you've got a lot of freezes on this one and basically the idea is that you're going to be using the freezes mainly to keep that town hall frozen just so that the troops that do end up going to the temple get rid of it. Thankfully the queen and a few of the witches ended up going towards the eagle that goes down and then I still had one more freeze left to go and I was either gonna use it on the single inferno if it targeted my queen or in this occasion I used it for the scatter shot just to allow my royal champion to get rid of the scatter shot and the rest of the defenses down there. Now the queen still has her ability I'm not even gonna need to use it since uh, yeah like all of the defenses couldn't kill her i did end up using her in the end just for time and we got this first triple against no legs on the second war sadly i ended up coming in with a similar army but i ended up getting a 94 percent two star since my quakes were a little bit off and i didn't get rid of the defenses at one hive we're on champs two and we want to move up to champs one and in the first war I also ended up coming in with the triple against family where we won 36-33 and I used a different army on this one I believe I ended up using the... no actually on the first war I ended up using the frozen witch as well so here instead of zapping the scatter shots I ended up zapping three of the expos and then with the quakes I ended up damaging the eagle and the archer tower that also I zapped it that way just to create the pathing for my troops so that they go they have nowhere else to go but to go to the left so as you can see you can use the lightning spells and the quakes just to create the pathing for your spam troops to actually go where you want them to go um, and yeah you don't have to use it on the scatter shots or the splash damage as you can see i used it on three expos if you can get a lot of value from your lightning spells and also create pathing definitely go for that and the witches are strong enough with the super giants that they can get rid of the uh, scatter shots as well on this base as well the, it doesn't have uh, any heroes where the eagle was so i was able to send my royal champion just to get rid of those defenses and continue trimming the base on the right hand side while all my other troops are in the center and also going towards the town hall use the freeze just to freeze the town hall and now they're all just gonna be able to keep going down towards the final end of this base now the reason i also came in from the 130 area was that it was a multi inferno up there and the one at the bottom is a single inferno which uh, with witches is not that dangerous i'll get the king there just beating through the wall and sadly the scatter shot is hitting some of my witches probably is gonna kill them but that's all right they can still go down get rid of the scatter shot that queen keeps going down she ends up dying to the single inferno but we still have the king with a few witches in this occasion this attack did come very very close 
as you can see we only have the warden and a few skellies with a few witches thankfully the single didn't target my king he was able to go through the wall while the warden was hitting the single inferno went down we got the triple at one half i did end up uh, getting a triple on the second wall and on this one i didn't come with a frozen witch i ended up coming in with a yeti smash which can still work and i used the lightning spells for that as well I put the warden around 9 o'clock and then you can use a lightning spell to get rid of the inferno. As you know, you only need 5 lightning spells and 1 quake to get rid of that. So I just decided to sprinkle the lightning spells just to damage all of the defenses around that compartment and help my warden. I thought I was being smart putting a couple minions there since there was no air targeting um, defenses. But the Tesla popped up and then I realized that the Tesla farm would be down there. Um, I ended up putting the three witches and then setting the king and the siege barracks at 12 just to create the other side of the funnel. We've got a couple of super world breakers and my idea is to bring the rest of the army in between going directly into the town hall. Put the yetis down, pull the warden, queen, then bowlers and then just start going in. We do have one jump which is going to connect the center of the base. CC comes out. Put the rage down just to make sure that everything goes inside. Once I know that they're going to be going and targeting the town hall, I can use the warden ability also to save them from the eagle uh, shots. The town hall goes down and everything keeps moving down. Now the bullets are pretty strong as well so they can get rid of the defenses quite quickly. Now they're all targeting the scatter that goes down and they all have to jump. From the siege barracks I had hawks that can come out and I use a royal champion just to help them out and she can get rid of this multi inferno as well. Now um, a lot of uh, players because there's been a lot of spam one of the things to get rid of spam or defend against it is putting your infernos onto multi infernos but if you have a base that has three multi infernos there's no troop that is better than the yetis they die very slowly to multi infernos they can smash through the base um, usually with this attack you will see all of the yetis still standing and the bull is dead but on this occasion i do have all of my bull is still alive and only one yeti left but that's okay that the eagle goes down to the witches and now there's just a couple of defenses that will go down nice and quick and then we are gonna get our second triple for the week at one half in champs 2. and uh, finally my third team is resistance and at the moment we're in champs 3 and we're trying to move up to champs 2 so we are the first war we ended up winning at 38 31 we're currently tied on our second war but i got also two triples one on the first war and one on the second war so here is the first war with captain nanki and i'm going uh, with the frozen witch as well just getting rid of the expo and the scatter also creating a little bit of pathing Put my uh, super giants and witches at 9 and also at 12 and then the rest of my army in between with a lock launcher going all the way into the base. Um, I usually when I'm using the log launcher I like using the warden ability nice and early just to make sure that it can go all the way through. However on this occasion I ended up using the wall breaker just so that it can go all the way to the town hall since I was coming completely opposite from the town hall and as we know the log launcher does end up dying by itself even if it's not targeted the wall breaker as long as you can um, protect it it can go all the way through to the town hall on this occasion i couldn't protect it well enough so it stopped just one layer behind the town hall however as you can see with my lining spells i ended up um, creating that little bit of a funnel that was gonna create my army or push my army to go towards the town hall I still have one, like a few freezes that I can use on the town hall just to make sure that it goes down. My king, the RC, super giants are in the town hall, so that's definitely going to be going down. Use the last freeze for the, well, the second last freeze for the defenses there just to save everything. And then I just have one freeze left. I still have the queen ability, I've got the royal champ ability. There's a couple of infernos. So I use the, sing the freeze for the single inferno just to make sure that I can keep my queen ability for a little bit longer it would have been nice if she had gone in and hit the multi inferno but she decided to take a detour which is gonna kill her 
then this multi inferno is going to be burning through some of my troops the royal champion ends up going down but we still have a king with a yeti and plenty of witches which are going to be getting burned by the multi inferno that's all right we uh, thankfully our king didn't get targeted by the single inferno they can get rid of the single inferno that defense is there and then he's going to be able to go through the wall he decides to pick the heaviest wall the blue one instead of the white one to go through and thankfully the multi inferno doesn't kill my king and this is a triple and in the second war we ended up coming in against this base which was a little bit more maxed and uh again with the frozen witch attack so i use the uh, zaps and the quakes to get rid of the scatter and um, a cannon and also with the other quake damage the eagle the expo the town hall is centralized so it makes it a little bit easier and then i just put my super giants in which is at six and at three and then the rest of my army in between with a log launcher obviously since the tank was in the center of the base log launcher is better since it can open all of the walls and it can also damage the defenses as it's coming in you can also see that it moves way slower than the wall wrecker so it's a lot easier just to stay behind it um, the only thing i don't like about the log launcher with spam troops is that because it gets rid of all of the defenses along its way it kind of pushes everything to the side but on this occasion we had quite a few super giants going in i used the freeze for the roller champ and the expo and then i used the freeze for the tank hall and the inferno and then the tank hall will go down the log launcher dude end up opening that last wall towards the scatter shot in the back end uh, the lava hound is about to pop it pops we still have the roller champ with full health and we still have the abilities for the king and the queen uh, as they're going around the base they ended up going outside the base but that's all right we've got the witches that can get rid of the single inferno we still have a couple of freezes that we can use to freeze the scatter shot just to make sure that the royal champion can get can bring it down once that scatter shot goes down the only splash damage left is that wizard tower and the bomb tower which we can get rid of nice and quick and now the queen does walk into a compartment that we can work with she's going to be able to get rid of that wizard tower and then she's going to be able to target the single inferno we still have her ability so i decided not to use the freeze there and just use her ability she's going to be able to get rid of the expo and then she's going to be through a nice wall that is going to allow her to go into that single inferno compartment and we still have that freeze that i can use now to save the queen now i could have just waited and not use it but in the end we did use it just to bring that single inferno down and this was a nice triple as well so as you can see the frozen witch attack has been doing really well in champs i've used it in champs 1 champs 2 and champs 3 with great results so if you liked the video please click the like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you next time with more clash see ya